What's up, everyone? Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Yasmin Woodland. I go by Yasmin TV on here. And you guys, I will be talking about this entire Kendrick Lamar slash Drake beef. As you all know, they have been dropping diss tracks back to back against each other. I literally just listened to Drake Family Ties. Kendrick is really coming for this guy. Like, he's really coming for Drake. Now, their beef actually stems from years ago. This is not new beef, okay? So if you all don't know, Kendrick Lamar took to social media to share his new diss track. And in the diss track, if you listen to the lyrics, he is actually accusing Drake of dating underage girls, okay? He is literally accusing him of not only dating underage girls, but he's claiming that Drake actually has a daughter that the world doesn't know about. Because as we all know, We didn't really know about Adonis either, okay, his son. We didn't know about him. We didn't even know anything about what was going on between Drake and that uh, ex-porn star, Adonis, uh, you know, mother and stuff like that. We didn't know, all right? And, and, And a lot of this stuff is just coming to the forefront. So not only is he accusing Champagne Poppy of having a daughter, but he's accusing Drake of dating underage girls. Now, this is all alleged information, and the victim did speak out okay so i'm gonna go ahead and share my screen to tiktok just to kind of give you all some background information on what exactly is going on and where this beef stemmed from then i'm going to share my screen to social media so you guys can see the alleged victim and what happened between drake and the alleged victim when he called her on stage during one of his shows okay so i'm going to share my screen to tiktok you guys check this video out If you have been wondering what the hell is going on between Kendrick Lamar and Drake, I got you. I'm going to break it down for you in like a couple minutes. In 2011, Drake drops his probably best album, Take Care. He has a feature with Kendrick on that album titled Buried Alive. But at the time, Kendrick was very up and coming and Drake was on his second album. In 2012, Drake would go on to ask Kendrick and ASAP Rocky, who he now also has beef with, to be his opening acts on tour. In 2013, Kendrick is featured on the song Control with Big Sean, where he calls out a lot of the big names in rap and pretty much says, hey, I got a lot of love for y'all, but I'm trying to unalive y'all. And Drake and Big Sean were two of the names that he calls out. Later that year, Kendrick comes for Drake again at the BET Awards Cypher, where he says nothing's been the same since they dropped Control and tucked a sensitive rapper back into his pajama clothes and then also calls Drake a fake. In October 2023, Drake and J. Cole link up for the song called First Shooter. In J. Cole's verse, J. Cole says, I love when they argue who's the hardest MC. Is it K-Dot? Is it Aubrey? Or is it me? And if you didn't know, K-Dot was um, Kendrick Lamar's original stage name before he was Kendrick Lamar. J. Cole also says, we the big three like we started the league. In March of this year, Kendrick is featured on the song called The Like That with Future and Metro Boomin, where he says, MFing big three it's just me basically saying big three who on april drake would go on to release his first diss track called push up in the song he basically clowns kendrick for being five five he also brings up lamar's previous record label top dog saying top dog told you drop and give me 50 like it's push-ups but what he's referring to is like 50 percent of all of his earnings go to the label drake drops another diss track called taylor made freestyle in the song he suggests that kendrick is likely waiting for taylor's new album to drop so that he could then drop his diss track now if y'all remember kendrick's first number one was actually featuring on taylor swift's bad blood and drake suggests that taylor is basically kendrick's new top dog kendrick hits back with the song called euphoria in it he calls out drake's alleged plastic surgery he comes for drake's skin color asking how many more black features do you need to feel black enough and he also calls out drake and his label saying that they submitted a cease and desist to try to get the song like that that kendrick originally made off the radio just yesterday kendrick then drops a response in the song he asked drake if he's ever considered that someone on drake's label ovo is working for him and he also calls out drake for paying to get info on kendrick the same day drake comes out with the song called family matters He calls out Kendrick for being a fake activist. He also questions why Kendrick would call him out on his skin color when his long-term partner is a mixed queen. And Drake is mixed too. He also alleges that Kendrick has hit his partner asking, when you hit a girl, is it self-defense because she's taller than you? Saying that Kendrick had to hire a crisis management team after finding out about her infidelity and hitting her. And literally just minutes later, Kendrick responds with a song called Meet the Grams, where he does four different verses. One is addressed to Adonis, Drake's son. One is addressed to Sandra, Drake's mom. One is addressed to Drake. And another verse is addressed to this baby girl who is 11 years old, who is allegedly also Drake's daughter, who he never sees, has never spoken publicly about. 
He calls out Drake for allegedly having offenders of the Nicki Minaj's husband type on payroll. It is brutal. He calls Drake a deadbeat, an alcoholic, a user of substances. He tells Adonis, don't cut corners like your daddy did, F.O. Zempic. And in addressing that like daughter that Drake has never spoken about, he says that instead of being with her on her 11th birthday, Drake is out in Turks and Caicos paying for physical activity with women. Oh, and he also calls out Drake for hiding other children besides those two. And that is all the beef we have so far. I'm here for it. I can't wait to see what comes next. But also, can we just talk about how every time Drake gets into beef with someone, he gains another love child? If you have been wondering what the hell is going on. All right, you guys. So you heard it. You heard it. Shout out to her. She literally did a full breakdown on this entire beef between uh, Kendrick Lamar and Drake. So if you guys wanted to follow her TikTok, her information is here up on the screen. Okay, so not Drake over here getting a nose job, honey. Not the lover boy. And then apparently he got three more floating children around here in the industry. Child, when I tell you this beef is getting messy, it's getting way too messy. Now, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen to Instagram because, like I said, Kendrick Lamar was over here saying that Drake likes to, you know, date underage girls and all this stuff. So since then, the girl that was at one of Drake's shows a few years ago, she was 17 at the time. And Drake had actually called her on stage. Now, people are literally dragging Drake online for this, saying that, why, why are you calling an underage girl on, on your stage? Why are you over here doing this? Like, what's wrong with you? And Drake has literally been allegedly caught in a lot of girls' DMs, and they were underage. So this is uh, brought to you by Hollywood Unlocked, y'all. I'm here for the tea. It says right here, woman who was on stage with Drake and resurfaced 2010 video speaks out. It was nothing then, and it's nothing now. So this is the post that she posted up on her story. She basically reposted what Hollywood Unlock was saying. And um, someone had actually commented. Um, well, actually, this is actually her right here at the bottom. She commented and said, this was purely for his stage act. I was 17 years old and I'm 31 now. It was nothing then and it's nothing now. Then the young lady goes on to say, regarding the video that's going around, I was 17 back then and I'm 31 now. This was a concert that my dad took me to back in high school. Drake's entourage actually picked me out, out of the crowd of people, not Drake himself. So it was Drake's entourage, not Drake himself. Then she goes on to put in parentheses and says, by the way, performers always bring up fans on stage as part of their show. So then she says it was nothing then and there's nothing now. Now that I have cleared up these false narratives, I'm going back to study for my law school exams. Wish me luck. Okay, sis? So, you guys, they are literally trying to paint Drake, or should I say Kendrick is really trying to paint Drake as this creepy weirdo guy, saying that he's over here on drugs, saying that he's cutting corners with weight using Ozempic, saying that he done got a nose job, and then he got literally allegedly three other kids floating around in this industry okay footage resurfaces of drake being on stage with a 17 year old girl in 2010 now this is whack 100 he's so messy this is whack 100 talking about some here's the video in question drake was in concert in colorado girl stated that she was 17 at the time and drake was 23 this was back in 2010 colorado law is 17 legally He's not in violation of the state law, but federal law state that you have to be 18 across the board. This is what got hashtag R. Kelly indicted, not him over here bring, bringing up R. Kelly, y'all. Then he goes on to say no, no sex happened, but lewd conduct is in question. So this was definitely an eye opener. Did hashtag Kendrick wake it up? Comment below. Whack 100 is messy. He is literally a cloud chaser, y'all. He's a cloud chaser, and he's messy, and he's a liar, too. He's lied so much about Krishan Rock and the whole Krishan, Jaden, and Blueface stuff that I've been covering here on my channel. By the way, you guys, if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. Hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, and like this video, okay, if you are enjoying my commentary. So this is what WAC 100 had posted on his page. Now, like I said, WAC 100 also went on to state that Colorado also provides exemptions for specific age differences. The age of sexual consent, Colorado age of sexual consent is 17 years old. Then there's another post right here that says crossing state lines to actually have relations invokes federal law. The federal age of consent is 18. Whoo, y'all. When I tell you Kendrick Lamar didn't open up a can of worms, you guys... 
I don't know. I feel like there's some more stuff that's going to actually come to the forefront in this situation. Let me go ahead and see what these comments talking about. Someone said y'all trying to make this girl a victim. It's just crazy. Crazy. Someone else said the fact that her dad took her and allowed a grown man to kiss her makes it even weirder. Child, these men will literally sell their daughters to the industry. And then mothers too, you know, they'll be Chris, uh, Chris Jenner and they'll go ahead and, you know, sell their daughters or sons or whatever to the industry for the bag. Okay. I'm not saying that's what happened here, but I mean, we all seen what happened to Aaliyah. Rest in peace, Aaliyah. I love Aaliyah, but her parents are a little bit shady. I got to side eye them with the whole R. Kelly thing, right? And then someone also went on to say, so the girl involved gave y'all an honest explanation and y'all still don't want to believe it. Someone said, this is the most disturbing thing. Uh, the most disturbing thing was his commentary after finding out she was 17. I don't care how old she was. He should have kept that. Someone said Drake paid for her to go to law school and hush tactics. He ain't slick. Y'all, I cannot stand social media. Social media is crazy talking about he paid for the girl law school. I mean, did he? So, you know, hush, hush. I mean, money talks. Money talks. Someone say, uh, this is, I guess, what the girl had quoted, the girl in question. It says, yeah, he kissed me and told me my breast felt nice when I was a minor, but nothing like what? Wow. Wow, you guys. I feel like this beef. I feel like Drake should have definitely kind of, you know, picked his battles. And I'm not saying I'm team, I'm team Kendrick or nothing like that. I'm just saying, if you got a lot of skeletons in your closet, allegedly, and stuff like that, y'all know when people beef in the hip-hop industry, all that stuff is going to come to the forefront. All of it's going to come to the forefront. I know Drake is over here looking real crazy. Someone said, uh, just, just because you were okay with it doesn't mean it was right. Someone said it was a groomed mentality. Someone said, reading the comments, I'm just convinced y'all either hate Drake that bad or y'all don't have any reading comprehension skills. I feel like a lot of people are definitely siding with uh, Drake, but then people are divided. Social media is divided on this whole Drake and Kendrick beef. People are also siding with Kendrick Lamar. So what do you guys think about this? What do you guys think? Do you think Drake and his entourage had like ill intentions inviting her on stage? What do you think about her being 17, allegedly? What do you think about Kendrick calling out Drake for the plastic surgery, bringing a 17-year-old on stage, saying that he got secret kids, secret children, child? When I tell you guys this beef is getting juicy and messy, but I'm here for it, I'm definitely here for it. So once again, you guys, I'm Yasmin Woodland, a.k.a. Yasmin TV. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and leave your thoughts on this entire situation in the comment section below. Other than that, I will see you guys in my next live stream and in my next video. See you guys later. Thank you for watching.